I am very excited. This is a festival I look forward to every single year. Nicole Elwell is no stranger to the Thomasville Rose Show and Festival. Because it is a festival that I have attended for the last, you know, 20 years on and off. Earlier this year, she took on the role of special events manager for the city of Thomasville. So it's a huge community event. Now she's working behind the scenes for a tradition many like her celebrate every year. So to actually be in the works and be working, you know, hands on with it, it's it's really delightful and, and I just really enjoy it. She's working alongside people like Bonnie Hayes. This will be my seventh Rose Show and Festival, and each one of them is special. She's the director for tourism development for the city of Thomasville. How big of an economic impact does this event have on the city of Thomasville? We wait all year for the Rose Show and Festival because of what it does bring into our community. It brings people from all over the country in here. Which means filling up hotel rooms in Thomasville and surrounding communities like Tallahassee, Cairo, and Moultrie. Two million dollars. That's how much money she says could be driven into the community with this two-day event. One business hoping to cash in on that. Tavello Brewing Company here on East Jackson. It's hard to not see the possible dollars of an influx of individuals from out of town, as well as the fact that we're getting ready to get into distribution. I first introduced you to Maurice Jackson late last year as he was gearing up to open Tavello. Now that business is up and running, he told me he's excited to take part in the first Rose Show and Festival. It's your first one you want to do well, yeah. uh, represent well, and represent the town well. Serving up locally brewed beers to a crowd that event leaders expect to grow along with festival events. We are expecting the southeast largest car and truck show this year in the downtown. We're actually having to expand the car and truck show footprint because we are going to have over 200 vehicles lined up in downtown. That's more than the 165 vehicles that participated in the Thomasville Police Department's show last year, proceeds benefit community outreach programs. It's that community that Elwell told me she's proud to be part of. It takes every single person in the town to come together. As we like to say, uh, Thomasville and everybody in it really owns a show. And that was Channing Frampton reporting. The parade starts tonight at 7, then there's a street dance at 8.30, immediately following the parade. It's going to be at the intersection of North Broad and Jefferson Streets downtown. It features a free live concert by the Swinging Medallion.